Hi, I'm Nettie. In case you don't know, I make production videos, often about trying to replicate other artists' styles. And I noticed that it's been a while since the last time where I just made music in my own style. The most recent video of me making my own style of music was from over a month and a half ago. So in this video, I'm gonna make a dubstep drop in my own style. Let's get into it. Alright, let's put in a drum loop. Alright, so let's start with like a uh, main yoink or something. Alright, so right here we just have like a basic wavetable, and then um, I automated the level of that. Then we have some distortion on it, some hyperdimension for some width, and then a compressor for like the extra crunch. Let's add a fat rack. Let's add some simple delay. Ooh, that's way cooler. Let's add in a sub. Okay, let's get this a little bit louder. Let's get a limiter. Let's frequency shift this. Okay, that's dope. Is that a flanger? And let's frequency shift it again. Ooh, uh, let's shorten this up a little bit. Okay, let's add a growl here. Okay, so this is what we have right now. So we have a Monster 2 wavetable, and we have some distortion on it, some uh, hyperdimension for some width, and then a compressor just to make it a little bit more crisp. Okay, let's get a little riser. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can do some like. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's add a top layer on top of this like serum right here. Let's add an OTT to this. And let's also frequency shift it. Okay, let's uh, frequency shift this down in the second half. Let's automate this rate right here. Okay, let's do the same thing to this sub right here. Okay, let's kind of make this go like this. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, there we go, nice. Let's duplicate this patch, and then we'll just like mess with it here. Ooh. Oh my god, dude. That is nasty. Holy shit. Yeah, let's make this go faster. There we go, that's better. Okay, let's add a, like a Reese fill. Okay, let's add a fat rack and a saturator. Now let's add an OTT. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's move this over and let's duplicate it. Okay, let me get an auto filter and I'll put it on a uh, bandpass. Okay, and now we gotta do a really like a really sick switch up. Okay, let me duplicate this and then let's change this up a little bit. Ooh, what if we like automate like the uh, pitch of like the flander? Ooh, I like that. We should add like a little like siren or something like that on top, or like just a riser. Okay, let's get a fill. Alright, let me get a uplifter. And then let's get like a little bass. Jesus. Okay, well, I was gonna add that sample in, but now I found this one. Which is way cooler. Okay, I still don't like that fill. Yeah, let's just do this. Alright, let's give this a little build up. Okay, let's get some risers. Okay, let's get a kick. Let's auto filter this. Let's take this main bass. And let's auto filter that. Okay, let's add some reverb. Okay, let's get some snares. 
Let's get a little like tape stop thing before the drop. Okay, let's get a little vocal. Put your hands up! I like that. Okay, let's put this into like a triplet groove instead of like a uh, eighth note thing. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Let's frequency shift this vocal up over time. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! All right, at this point, I pretty much think it's done. Uh, why don't we go ahead and take a listen to this track? Put your hands up! Put your hands up! And just like that, we've made a dubstep drop. Let me know if you like this video with a comment down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.